I rise today with, with the chair of your committee in presenting a, a very important bill uh, that is designed to make sure that our tax dollars do not subsidize a terrorist regime and do not work at cross purposes with our national government that is moving to sanction companies that do business with that terrorist regime, talking about uh, Iran. Thank you for allowing me to have the opportunity to, to present and talk about this bill. Uh, it's crucial that we act now for several reasons. First and foremost, all you need to do is pick up the newspaper. Even in today's headlines, front page is talking about uh, that, that they have, it's basically Iran is devolving into a mil military dictatorship. You, you look at some of the headlines before that, Iran boasts of capacity to make bomb fuel. That was just a couple days ago. Iran president moves ahead on uranium processing. Um, all, it, is, it is happening at a rapid clip. So why now? Why are we coming forward with this bill now? For, for several reasons. One, because of the urgency of the timing, and, this is, and we're talking about an existential threat. We're talking about um, stability in the Middle East and potentially uh, in our own country. But also because right now the Congress is also moving. Uh, in a way, now Congress has moved on this, on this issue, and I uh, was involved with that back in 1996. I was on staff with Congressman Berman when he authored the uh, ILSA, the Ar Iran-Libya Sanctions Act, which became the Iran Sanctions Act. Um, but that, ha that, that helped to some extent create some sanctions and some pressure on the regime, but, it, but the regime is more dangerous than it ever has been. Congress at this point is moving forward on, on, se on several bills that have already passed the, uh, the House and the Senate, and these bills would would not only increase the, the sanctions that the federal government is putting in, but for the first time they are expressly allowing states to take an action that we may or may not have been able to take before under current law. And specifically that action is to say that none of, no contract that, is, that any government entity enters into will be with a company that is doing business with the Iranian petroleum oil sector. And it's defined as companies make, uh, doing more than $20 million worth of business, and there's a number of, of strict definitions. The same definitions that are in the federal bill, we are tracking in this state bill. So this bill is to both send a message and have a real impact on companies, on foreign companies, that are doing business with the Iranian petroleum oil sector. And, and the reason why it's targeted to foreign co companies is because U.S. companies are already not allowed to do this under the law. So right now, it, there's no level playing field. You have a situation where, uh, you know, U.S. companies cannot interact with the, with the Iranian regime and foreign companies, some of them are, and our tax dollars are potentially subsidizing these kinds of things. This bill is an effort to say no, enough is enough, and to force these large companies to, to make a choice. They either stand with the uh, eighth largest economy in the world and they, they work with our business, or they can, uh, they can take their marbles and go uh, to a terrorist regime that's going to be sanctioned by the U.S. Uh, even further uh, and, and contribute to the destabilization of, of really of the entire world. So that's, that's to give you a sense, this, this bill is dealing with some very large issues, but it's not just a foreign policy bill. It's, it's very different because it's dealing with our tax dollars and how our money is spent here on the state level. 